work with T cells. These are white blood cells that fight infections and we are also trying to make them uh, fight cancer cells. So what we study in the lab is how these cells are generated in our body but also how they recognize a tumor and how they kill a tumor, hoping to devise new immunotherapies against cancer. Well, as a scientist, uh, I obviously see human progress as very closely related to scientific progress in the sense that for new cures against diseases that uh, challenge our lifespan, uh, science is the answer. Uh, that is my belief, of course. And uh, also for scientific progress in terms of technology, for us to have new gadgets to play with, like from iPhones to iMacs, all of that is science-driven. So human progress, uh, we got to a, a situation as a civilization where we have a lot, accomplished a lot, and what's left to accomplish is tightly linked to science. What's more difficult in terms of progress is the po political changes that are still required, for instance, to end poverty in Africa and disease spread in countries uh, of the African and Asian continents as well. So there is much more to be done in politics than in science. Otherwise, progress is tightly linked to science. To future generations of scientists, I would say that it's critical to be passionate about what you do, about science. I think that's something all scientists would say. And it's particularly relevant for science because it's really very hard work that it makes no sense if you're not completely obsessed by it. But other than that, I think it's important to follow your curiosity more than any trends or fashion. Uh, there's a lot of pressure sometimes because you see that some areas are very uh, fashionable and get into the high impact journals and so people tend to follow that. And as a future scientist, I think it's more important for people to look into things where there is a lot to be discovered, so that by definition are not yet a fashion or a trend, but will become the next trend with their own work. So it's very important for future researchers to identify the, the gaps in knowledge where they can make a significant contribution rather than following the previous knowledge that other researchers have chosen, like myself and my predecessors. Certainly we are not giving enough attention to basic research um, and this I think is a big mistake. So there is more and more uh, pressure to have uh, application, direct application of the knowledge you're producing. But it's very important to realize that all, essentially all Nobel Prizes in Medicine and Physiology, which is the area where I work on, have been attributed to basic research, to basic uh, findings that will eventually be applied. But what's really driving progress and innovation is research done at the basic basis of science, in the new mechanisms, how things work. Only if we fully understand those can we apply them successfully. So I think there should be a huge investment in basic research. This does not mean not investing in applied research, it means that both are required and we should not shrink the, the amount of investment into basic research.